Welcome to the Cross on the Hill here in Elmore, West Virginia. Today I tell you of one of the great miracles I have seen in life. And I'll tell you the story. But the story has to be told in a parable form. One of the greatest miracles I ever saw. The story has to be told in the form of a parable. Like a Bible parable. Why? Because the reason of the power of the pen. That's the reason it must be told in this form. Three vessels of men with demon spirits within them, led by their spirits to do evil. The three vessels of men had staffs of steel in their grasp. When they pointed their staffs of steel at the body of water, the general the staffs made a roar like thunder, and fire shot out of the ends of the staff. The body of water exploded because of the power of the staffs. The three vessels of men with demon spirits within them had found the chief and his tribe and began to rain down terror all around them. With their staffs of steel, the fire and the thunder parted the water and all around the chief and his tribe. Fear came upon the religious chief and his tribe as they sat upon the waters of the general. The three vessels of men with demon spirits within them had been told the truth where the chief and his tribe would be upon the water. Who told the truth to betray the chief and his tribe? It was the son-in-law, the betrayer, the Judas, the evil one. The chief and his tribe trembled with fear and excitement. Their plight was sure when suddenly the man of God appeared. About an hour earlier, a young man was laying on his couch. God spoke to the young man and told him, Take his pole and go to the body of water, the general. It was a day too hot to fish or anything else, but the young man obeyed the command God had told him and went. The young man arrived at the body of water, the general. He rode in his chariot black as coal with a splash. Suddenly he heard the voice of the chief and his tribe. Their cry and their fear came to his ear. The young man brought his chariot to a screeching halt. The young man saw what the three vessels of men with demon spirits was doing to the chief and his tribe. As the three vessels of men with demon spirits left the chief, and his tribe, they focused on the young man with all of their fury and power of their staffs. But the young man had no fear. He was sent by God. The young man led them away at high speed down a dusty path. As the dust clouds grew behind the young man, the three vessels of men with demon spirits lost him in the clouds of dust. Now the young man got back to looking for a place to fish. He circled back to where the dusty path had started and parked his chariot, black as coal, with a splash by the body of water, the general's bridge. The young man began to fish when he saw two daughters of the chief's tribe drive by. After maybe the greatest miracle the two daughters had ju just witnessed, they were ashamed to stop and thank the young man. Why? Because like Peter in John chapter 21 verse 7 in the Bible, they were ashamed because of their nakedness. As the young man went back to fishing, the vessels of men with demon spirits found the young man and parked their chariots behind the young man up on a hill. The three vessels of men with demon spirits 
got out their staffs of steel and prepared to rain down all of their power and fury on the young man. The young man had no fear. He began to pray, no weapon formed against him will prosper. The young man rebuked the three evil spirits. Then suddenly the keeper of the fish and the force showed up and began to question the three vessels of men. So the young man packed up and headed home. As he drove by the three vessels of men, they kind of growled at him. Later that, later that day, the young man got a call from his aunt. It was not Adam's wife from the Garden of Eden, but the names were similar to hers. She said the chief and his tribe was blaming the young man for what had happened and taken place. The young man was truly innocent. He denied the accusations and declaration of written facts by the chief and not the tribe. The pen can imprison you, but the truth sets the innocent free. The young man has held his peace to this very day. Thank God I am free. This story had to be told in the form of a parable. The only hint to the story I'll give you is I was a young man and I was truly innocent. And I just thank God for His miracle power. His power never ends. So thanks for watching The Cross on the Hill. If you can figure this parable out, you figured out a great miracle.